What's up everyone, it's Sam from 64 Wheels, back with more diecast, and today we're going to be unboxing one of the most stacked Hot Wheels monster truck cases ever. This has eight trucks in it, six of them are new for 2023, including the new Jurassic Park Jeep and the Too Fast Too Furious R34 monster truck. It's going to be killer, I can't wait to unbox these, so let's get into it. <laughs> All right, here is the outside of the case for the people that care about all the case codes and such. I'm not good at memorizing or remembering those. I would assume this is the F case just based on how many Fs there are on the outside of the package. The barcode is there for the case. Um, for those eagle eye viewers, you kind of tell me what these case codes are because I'm terrible at remembering them. So I ordered this case pre-order a couple months ago off Entertainment Earth. I paid a little bit more than retail for each truck, which made the case more than retail um, plus taxes and shipping. But this is one I wanted to pre-order because all of the cars in it. Um, there's some really highly anticipated castings in here, including that what is going to be very hard to find, the R34 from Too Fast, Too Furious, the Jurassic Park Jeep, and there's a couple other ones like the Gold Bone Shaker, uh, the Humvee. There's a couple ones that will probably be harder to find, but easier to find than these two uh, Hollywood releases. So to that, um, if you are looking for these castings, they should be hitting a Walmart sometime soon. I'm filming this in October of 2023, so these cases just got shipped this week. I got it pre-ordered, so the stores should be getting it now too. Um, the bad thing about the Hot Wheels Monster Trucks is that Target has stopped carrying them as of this filming, um, which means other places usually will pick up the slack, like a Myers, a Kroger, and Hobby Lobby has started carrying Hot Wheels products too, including the Monster Trucks. So if you have a Hobby Lobby in your area, unfortunately, they are usually a little more expensive at Hobby Lobby, but they might be a good place to find them. So with that being said, let's dig into this case. So I'm really excited about these. So I'll just kind of pull them out. Um, this is how they ship uh, with the little cardboard things, but I, I took them out to do some photos and just make sure everything was still there and not like super damaged or anything. Um, so all right, I was starting to take them out of the box and they kept falling over. So I've taken them all out of the box. We'll cover each one real quickly to show you what's in the case. And then we'll unbox them and take a closer look at each. So the first one, my favorite monster truck, Bigfoot. This is the classic blue Bigfoot. They've released it several times. I don't see any big changes right offhand um, has really awesome card art with the flame it reminds you of the power wheels bigfoot uh just i um, can't go wrong with bigfoot i'll take that anytime so next up is another re-release of the demo derby this is a classic demolition derby style monster truck uh fan favorite i saw it as well as bigfoot at one of the hot wheels glow party it was awesome seeing both trucks in real life <laughs> Next up, we kind of had two oddballs. So the first one is the Red Planet Rager, which technically makes this case six new for 2023 trucks, but this truck was released in another case previously. One of the reasons why we know that is because the back of it actually shows the old case. So I'm not sure why this shows the old art when this one actually like the latest wave has it i'm sure they do that as a carryover i've just probably not paid attention to it but i just thought that was kind of odd um, but this is an awesome truck so i'm excited to unbox that one as well next up is another i don't want to say oddity but a little bit different release so this is new for 2023 as well the bone shaker so if you're a fan of monster trucks or hot wheels in general you'll probably have seen the bone shaker around for a long time same as the monster truck. They have had a version of a monster truck bone shaker since I believe like 2008 or nine. It's, it's been around forever. So why does it say new for 2023? Well, in the Hot Wheels monster truck line, when they do a new version of a casting, a new combination of chassis color, wheel color, wheel style, whatever, they call it a new for 2023 because technically it is, it's never been released in this combination of colors before. So while this is not a new casting, it is a new release on an old casting for 2023. So I hope that was clear. I don't know if it was, but I tried. So next up is an actual new casting, the first release of the Hot Wheels Humvee in a very uh, appropriate military camo paint job with tan wheels. This looks great. Again, really cool card art on these. I'm excited to unbox that one as well. Next up is probably going to be a favorite between collectors and kids alike, the Crush Delivery, which a, with, with a very awesome shark theme 
on the front of the truck as well as a little mini aquarium out back with a shark in it. It's got a little like broken glass look like the shark is trying to get out. Just absolutely love that. Next up is probably going to be the second hardest to find uh, car in this wave, the Jurassic Park Jeep. This is the third time Hot Wheels has released a Jurassic Park product. The one was a Jeep in ID in the ID series. The next one was the San Diego Comic-Con Special Edition and now this one. This one is a little bit different and there's a couple changes on this one compared to the other previous releases and we'll take a look at those. We open it, but the the casting to have in this release, the Fast and the Furious Skyline GTR. So this is the R34 from Too Fast, Too Furious. Uh, there's a couple changes from this casting between this and the actual premium, just like regular release. As you can tell, the wheel wells uh, right offhand are much larger. I was talking with uh, Furiously Collecting. Follow him on uh, YouTube as well. He does a lot of unboxings and reviews of Fast and the Furious products, uh, like Hot Wheels and a lot of other ones. Um, and we were discussing the different um, differences in this body. And I hadn't opened it yet, but I'm looking forward to seeing the changes in that and then discussing that with you guys as well. So this is going to be a really sick wave. Um, I mean, this is going to be so hard to find. This is actually the second release of a Fast and the Furious monster truck. Previously, they released the 2022 Fast and the Furious Charger RT. Obviously, this is the OG uh, 70 Charger from Fast 1 and like six Fast is after that. <laughs> like the very different variations, um, but it has a very appropriate uh, wheel tire combination there. And collectors are kind of split on these. They're not sure whether to like them or hate them. Um, I collect Fast and the Furious. I collect Monster Trucks. So it was a no-brainer to buy both. And since I'm trying to collect uh, the in entire Fast and the Furious line, obviously that was uh, a must-have. So we will go ahead and open. Um, well, I guess I don't really need to open these since these are just re-releases. These aren't new. Um, same thing with the Bigfoot. It hasn't really changed. Um, you can even see through the packaging. So we won't waste time on opening those. If you do want to see those open, I'm going to be doing a mega monster truck unboxing one day um, because I have like 50 to open. So we'll focus on the new for 2023, which is six different castings. So we'll go ahead and make quick work of the previously released ones. So this is the Bone Shaker. So here is its like power on the back. If you want to pause and take a look at that. Boom. I do like the art though. They have a very like rock and roll style art on the back of that. All right, let's see. So each monster truck does come with like a little name placard that sticks through the window if you've not bought these before, which is kind of cool. I end up throwing them away. And then they come with this stackable car that has interlocking pegs so you can kind of stack them all different ways, especially when you buy a whole wave and then you get eight of them, especially if you're opening all of them. So there is the bone shaker. Looks pretty good. Uh, the paint job looks good. It's got that classic bone shaker skull on it, that like graffiti style skull. It looks good. The gold tires look good. Uh, it does have flat black it looks like five spoke wheels with the red uh, chrome trim around them. It looks pretty sick. It almost looks like a special edition truck because all the gold on it. Um, I don't know. It looks cool. It's a good casting. Uh, can't really go wrong with the classic bone shaker. So that'll be a fun one to play with. These always roll well. They're monster trucks. You can't really go wrong with any of them. So... Oops. All right. Let's check out the Red Planet Rager. This is so cool. I love NASA stuff and space and science. So uh, when I first saw this one, I was really hoping we were going to get more like space style products from Hot Wheels, which we kind of did because I think they did. Was it a Red Planet Transporter in the uh, Super Rigs line, which I have, but I haven't unboxed it yet. So I need to do that at some point soon, too. So let's go ahead. And, oh, so there we go. So we have two different car styles here. We have the sedan, which actually is the uh, time a taxi, if you can see it right there. So that door would actually open. You can kind of see um, there's like the oil or intercooler. So you can see that it's that casting. I don't know. This one is, is this pure muscle? I can't remember which one this is, but this is actually a uh, fantasy casting too. So then you stick them together like this and then you can just like blast them with your monster truck. So we'll keep on uh, collecting those there. All right, so let's move this over. This looks sweet. So this is an RV. It's supposed to, like, does it have something? Just, it almost reminds me of Spaceballs. Um, like the, uh, what is it? The Not the fantasy. It's like the knockoff funny version of Star Wars. Great movie, though, um, from back in the 80s. Look at that. It's got the ladder. A lot of good, like, look at the art on the side. It looks like it's, like, had space damage. Really, really cool. They did a really good job on this paint job. 
It does have the printer style graphics, so they are not very clear, but monster truck wise, they do get the job done. Um, I'm more okay with them using this style of tampos on something like this rather than something like this, because these are more meant to play with. Um, you can collect them like I do in my adult display, but I do roll them around a little bit. Um, but they're super fun to play with too. They have awesome rubber tires. This one has like the mud graphics on the tires. It has a two different color chassis. So it has like the main part is yellow and then the outside part is orange, which adds a little bit more color and the windows are tinted red, which is super rad. So just a great looking casting. It would be cool to take this body off and do like a slammed uh custom out of it too that would be so sick i like those wheels too those wheels almost remind me of the old school bandit trans am snowflake wheels uh which is cool i don't know that would be great if they did a bandit trans am style uh monster truck too in their hollywood line i do know they are making the 66 babblebeale um that will be in the 2024 wave so i'm excited about that one so let's do the hummer next or the humvee this is sick Hot Wheels has had a Humvee casting since probably the late 80s or early 90s. Um, so is Matchbox. It's just been, that's like one of the castings, um, if you grew up in that era, like immediately recognized just because they were on the news all the time and the, the military used them for so long. So uh, let's go ahead and connect our monster truck car here again. This is... Uh, this is another fantasy casting, but I can't remember the name of it right now. Some of the castings, I'm not as good of remembering the names, but let's go ahead and look at the Humvee. I like that it has um, detail behind. It almost looks like it's scared. It's like, ah, oh! it's pretty rad though. Um, behind the push bar, I like that they put the tampos there. The whole truck appears to be, oh no, so it is a base coat of the tan color and then the printer style graphics are um, like the camouflage dots and then the Hot Wheels monster truck stamped in the stencil style. It's got a pretty clear graphic there though, which is nice. The Hot Wheels popping off right there. Casting looks good. No detail out back. It's got the uh, pop-up um, almost like, not turret. I guess it would be a turret. I don't know. Um, almost like submarine hatch there. It looks good though. They did a good job for the first release. It has the tan, almost the same color. I wouldn't call it gold. I would call it tan. Um, there's no flake in it or anything like that. So it matches pretty well. This is a cool release. Um, this, I'm sure people will buy this one up as well. I feel like any of the licensed castings get bought up first and then the cooler, like this one and this one would get bought up next of the fantasy castings. And then probably the demo derby, that one will probably hang because it's been released so many times before. But that looks really rad. All right, next up, the crush delivery. I'm looking forward to seeing more of this shark tank in the back. Whoop. got the orange so that is another time a taxi one so we'll go ahead and stick that there just like that all right let's take a look at this oh that's so cool so it does have some like marine life in the back that almost looks like a shock absorber it might be i don't know and that's a tire right that's the edge of a tire a starfish shock absorber oh it's a little broken glass there too that's really cool it's got the hatch up top, more broken glass right there. There you can really see it. That is super cool. What else is that? I can't see what else is in there. Definitely another starfish. I'm not sure what that gray piece is though. I don't know. The shark looks cool. It's even detailed. It has an eye and a mouth. How rad is that? That's so cool. And the, like, the paint job is matte, so it feels nice. It's like super smooth. So it's got beware, crush delivery. It's got that nice shark. Like, look at the angry shark eyes. Hot Wheels Monster Truck logo. It's got the warning stripes. Very cool. I like this one. Um, it's got the chrome chassis with the, well, the white chassis with the chrome underbody or suspension and engine. Red tires or red wheels, just the regular tires. But this thing is so cool. That's awesome. I love the back of that. Very nice. Okay. Gotta roll it just for fun. Oh. Okay. 
All right, so on to the two finalists right here, the ones that people have probably been waiting for this whole video, the Jurassic Park Jeep. So I said before when I was kind of introducing these that these are a little bit, or this Jeep is a little bit different. There's the back if you want to see it. So its strength is ripping and roaring, and its crash attack is the Gladiator Slam. I don't know. I don't know what that is, but all right. So the difference in this one between the other two that were released is that um, this one is mimicking the original movie's uh, paint job, but this is not the model. This is the later model uh, Wrangler that they already had in the in the monster truck line. So this is actually not a new casting, but it is a new release. So um, one other thing you'll notice that is different, not only is it the later Jeep, it is a four-door Jeep. So the Jeeps in the original Jurassic Park were only two doors. So it's kind of interesting that they did that. Um, I like it, even though it's not correct. I think it's a cool way to get the Jurassic Park name on more Hot Wheels products because, like I said, they haven't really made very many. So um, there is the grill graphics. They look a touch off, but they look decent. They're the uh, printer style tampos, but they look okay. This is Jeep 18. It does have the red window. It's got the light bar up top, the Jurassic Park logo on the door, Jeep. Um, it also has the monster truck and it does have the Jurassic Park license plate, which is super rad. Looks good. Um, it does have a chrome um, engine and like secondary chassis for the suspension. And then the actual chassis itself is that like, I, don't, I guess they call it flat gray, like almost like graphite color, but it looks cool. It's got huge over fenders. It, this one almost looks right as a monster truck. Like I could buy this being a monster truck. Like if they actually ran this in a series or something. Uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. <sighs> Definitely matches the Jeep uh, like off-roadness, off-roadity. I don't know what the off-road capability this Jeep would actually get taken off-road unlike most of the modern Jeeps. But yeah, that looks good. That's a win. Even though it's not totally correct, it's a monster truck, so it's not going to be correct in the first place. So that looks pretty good, though. I like it. All right, the R34. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to open this. I doubt I will ever find another one of these. Okay, what is its power? Truck type is city. Strength, furious fighter, crash attack, revy, set, go. That's kind of funny. So this will now be the what? Oh, my gosh. I'm trying to think how many different versions of this car they've made. So I think we're on like three or four basics, at least um, an ID car, the monster truck, a premium. This thing has been everywhere. I mean, I think another version is coming out soon in one of the Hot Wheels, Fast and Furious, Walmart lines. I don't know. They've, they've just been releasing this a lot because people keep buying it in every version. So, um, of course, this is the first one to get a monster truck. It would have been cool if they would have did the orange Supra first so we could have like a monster truck race of this. Um, but at least we're getting the R34, I guess. So, all right, let's take a look at this thing. So the tampos actually look really good on it. Um, it's got a blue painted wing. It's got the stripes with the uh, sponsors or part names on the hood, which not all of them have got that. So let's go ahead and take a look at the premium side by side. Um, it does appear to be wider and taller um, than the premium version. As you can see, the grill opening looks bigger. It has more grill detail on the actual bottom grill and the middle grill itself. Uh, the headlight tempos look better in my opinion. I think they have more detail. Um, there you can see on the hood, all the uh, sponsors, they look a little bit more clear on the premium, but overall, not bad. It's really not that bad. Um, I actually think the monster truck looks a little cleaner in some of it because there is more room, um, but this, the premium is probably scaled more correctly in terms of width. So let's see if this is, oh, let's see if this is wide or anything. Um, yeah, it looks like the premium is the regular casting, um, is slightly longer as you can see there. So even lining it up there, it looks like probably, I don't know, not a quarter inch, but it is longer. Um, the monster truck version is missing the, uh, windshield washers right there and see what else it's missing. An interior, obviously. Um, it's got a thicker spoiler out back. It does have the same license plate, the GTR and Nissan detailing. It's missing some of the, uh, like the bump on the trunk for the Nissan. So they probably took that out. 
Uh, let's see what else. It looks slightly different because they did adjust the casting. You can see the wing. There's tons more metal on the wing um, than there is on the premium version. The wing is thicker in the wing struts and the wing itself. So, yeah, there you can see how much bigger it is. Um, it's probably what? Let's see if we can do this. Compare it. So that's how, oh, it's not that much wider. It looked wider, but it is a little wider. So let me do the edge. So yeah, it's a little bit, it's a couple sixteenths wider. The paint on the premium looks better, but okay. So the side of it. So there you can see the wheel arches are definitely different. Um, the detailing as the paint, the GTR logo, the side marker, the KNN, it actually all looks pretty good. Um, they didn't do a bad job. It's sized differently, and there are a little bit less detail, like it's missing the bump on the side. Um, that one is smooth. It just has a tampo there. But overall, they did a really nice job at rescaling it for a monster truck. Um, it has very similar detail. Remember, this is a $7 car now, $8 car almost, and this is $3.99. So uh, they might have upped the price a little bit. I can't remember, um, but this looks pretty good. I'm not mad about that. They did a good job with it. So it'll be interesting to see what people do with this um, now that they're kind of hitting the market or will be soon because the body is definitely different. Like that, I mean, it's got a little bit lower panel right there too. It's cool. It's interesting. It's definitely a, it's definitely an interesting take on the model. That is for sure. But I like it. I don't know. Let me know what you think of this in the comments. So now that you've seen them all, this whole wave... You have the Jurassic Park Jeep, the Fast and Furious uh, R34, you have the Humvee, you have the Red Planet Rager, you have the uh, Crash Delivery, or Crush Delivery, I'm sorry. Let me know which is your favorite in the comments. Um, I'm probably going to have to, like, I mean, my favorite is the Bigfoot. It's always the Bigfoot, but I really do like the Red Planet Rager and the uh, Crush Delivery. I think those are two really nice trucks that Hot Wheels designed themselves and made and turned into monster trucks, whereas this was an existing design that they formed into a monster truck, but both very cool. I do like the Jurassic Park Jeep as well, so... Let me know what you think of these in the comments, which one is your favorite, and if you found any of these in stores as of the time of the filming, I guess. So, man, I really appreciate you watching and stick around for all that. I'm glad I bought the, the whole box because I don't know if I'm going to be able to find this uh, in stores or I'll have to pay extra um, on eBay or something. So I'm, I'm happy to have this in hand. But I appreciate you watching. This is Sam, 64 Wheels. Like and subscribe as always. You can follow me on Instagram, Facebook. Lame Wheel Group, Discord, whatnot, and somewhere else. I can't even remember. All the links are down below in the description, um, as well as links to my other Hot Wheels Monster Trucks unboxings and Fast and the Furious unboxings because it kind of goes along with all this. So um, I appreciate you watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs>